What's up guys? Welcome to the Macintosh Review. In this video I'm going to show you guys how to install iOS 11 on your iPhone, iPad, or iPod Touch. And I'm going to show you guys everything you need to know about the installation process and a couple of prerequisites that are definitely necessary before installing iOS 11. Now I have iOS 11 installed here on my iPhone 6s, so let's jump right into the installation process. Now iOS 11 actually brings to the table a welcome group of new features to the iPhone, iPad, and iPod Touch, some of which include a redesigned control center with integrated 3D Touch capabilities, screen recording, Apple Pay peer-to-peer -peer payments through iMessage, a newly designed lock screen and notification center, and so much more. I definitely recommend upgrading if you're coming from iOS 10, and it does actually make it worth your while with all the new features that you get. So anyway, here's the installation process. There are a couple things you need to know before installing this on your device. So the first step is obviously to make sure that your device is compatible and make sure that you are on the latest iOS 10 firmware. So iOS 11 is only compatible with a select array of devices, so that list will be up on the screen right now. But in order to install iOS 11, you need to have an iPhone 5S or above. It also works on the iPad mini 2, 3, and 4, iPad Air and Air 2, iPad 5th generation, and the iPad Pro any model. The iPod Touch 6th generation is also compatible. Now if you don't have one of those devices, unfortunately iOS 11 will not work for you. If you do have one of those devices, make sure that you upgrade to the latest version of iOS 10 before installing iOS 11. It's not essential, but it does make your installation process a little bit smoother in my experience. Now secondly, you're going to want to back up your device. Now you can back up your device by using iTunes or by using iCloud. The purpose of backing up your device is actually to make sure that you maintain all of your data if your phone were to crash before installing iOS 11. That includes things like your photos, your contacts, your apps, and all of the settings on your device. Definitely don't want to lose those in the installation process if it is to fail. So to back up your device, you can simply go into iTunes, plug up your device using the USB cable to your computer, open iTunes, and go ahead and click back up. Now you can also back up using iCloud. Just go ahead and open up the settings application on your iDevice and go into the iCloud section where you will see a backup option. Once you have actually backed up your data, you are going to want to know your Apple ID details. Now, a lot of people actually do forget their Apple ID details, and they are necessary to actually activate your device after installing iOS 11, as well as accessing your backup data that you have just backed up. So make sure that you write down your user ID and your password for your Apple ID so that you can actually access your backup and activate your new device. It would be terrible if you downloaded iOS 11 and you simply could not open or activate the device because you forgot your password. Also make sure you are in a range of a good Wi-Fi network. You cannot download iOS 11 over the cellular data system. I prefer Wi-Fi anyway, and it just makes the download a little bit quicker, a little bit more seamless. So make sure you're on a Wi-Fi network because Apple doesn't even allow you to download it if you are not. Now a final step is just be prepared for a slow download or be prepared to wait. Now I would do the download in the evening or wait until the rush is over for a few days just so that you don't have to waste any time waiting. In my experience, there are usually a ton of people trying to install on the first day or two of release in the past. So if you can wait, that would probably be a better experience for you. There's no harm in actually trying immediately. I just have had experiences where I've had to wait for an hour or two to download it, which is kind of an inconvenience. So once you have all those in mind, the update process is actually pretty simple. You can update using one of two methods. You can update via iTunes or update directly on your device. I do prefer to update directly on my device. And to do so, all you have to do is go into the settings application, go to general and you should see a software update section. Go ahead and click into that and the latest software update will appear for you. It should say iOS 11 and it should say download and install if you have not done so already. So just go ahead and do that and it will start to do its thing and you should be good to go. Now while that's downloading, I also recommend plugging into a charging port just so your phone doesn't die mid installation process. Now if you do prefer to update via iTunes, all you have to do is simply open up iTunes on your computer. Again, plug your phone in using the USB cable to the computer and then go ahead and click update and you should get a prompt for the latest iOS 11 software update. So if you keep these items in mind guys, your experience should go very smoothly and enjoy iOS 11. It's a great operating system. Hopefully you got it downloaded and installed with no problem and it's definitely a great update. So I would love to hear how your experience goes and let me know your thoughts on the update down there in the description. Anyway, if you did enjoy this video, be sure to click the subscribe button below the video and drop a thumbs up on the video. I greatly appreciate it. I also have my Twitter, Facebook, Google Plus, 
website, Patreon, and Instagram pages all in the description, so definitely follow those guys. And I will be posting more videos on iOS 11 in the near future, so be sure to stick around for those. Thanks for watching, and as always guys, stay awesome, and I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.